Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just found out who has been secretly recording his private conversations will be held to pay. Personally, I would not want someone recording their conversations with me. What I say or don't say isn't the point. It's a matter of freedom of speech in my viewpoint. Even presidents should have an expectation of privacy unless it pertains to national security or illegality. Since Trump has been in office he has been plagued by a ton of leaks from mostly undetermined sources. I am sure that vexes him. Trump is frustrated that he has not been able to put the leaks to an end entirely. The best way to do that is staffing with new people if it is legally feasible. Many of those that originally came on board the Trump administration are no longer with him and there are a couple of them he has had an issue with. Omarosa Manigault Newman is a former aide to President Trump. It turns out that she secretly recorded private conversations she had with the president. Trump will be furious if she goes public with them. The president is fond of Omarosa and it must have hurt to find out she did this after all he did for her. Multiple sources are now reporting this according to the Daily Beast. At one time, Omarosa was a contestant on Trump's reality show The Apprentice. I didn't watch the show, but I understand she was on there more than once. She is now coming out with a tell-all book about her experiences in the White House. The title is unhinged and is set to be released on August 14. The title alone does not bode well and it is sure to be a hot topic on media and for sales in general. If this is true and it probably is, Omarosa would not be the only person to have recorded her interactions with the president. Trump's longtime attorney, Michael Cohen, also recorded private conversations with President Trump. I'm not an attorney, but that would seem to violate client attorney privilege. One such recording was recently released and revealed Trump discussing possible payment to a former Playboy model with whom he was accused of having an affair. But according to Rudy Giuliani who now represents the president, the tape was modified. That matters for context and for legal ramifications as well. The White House is understandably not commenting on any of this at this time. From the Daily Beast For months, it has been rumored that Manigault had clandestinely recorded on her smartphone tapes of unspecified private discussions she had in the West Wing. Audio actually does exist, and even stars Manigault's former boss. One person confirmed to the Daily Beast they had heard at least one of her recordings featuring President Trump. Multiple sources familiar with the Omarosa tapes describe the recorded conversations between Trump and Manigault as anodyne, everyday chatter, but said they did appear to feature Trump's voice, either over the phone or in person. The mere existence of such recordings represents a dramatic betrayal of trust by a one-time confidant who has since abandoned years of professed loyalty to the president and has apparently decided to profit off her years of closeness to Trump. Trump particularly loathes the idea of being recorded without his knowledge, and felt especially irked and betrayed when news broke that Cohen had done so, as the Daily Beast reported late last month. Simon & Schuster, the publisher of Unhinged, responded to the Daily Beast in a statement. Without commenting on the specific contents of Unhinged, the spokesperson said, We are confident that Omarosa Manigault Newman can substantiate her highly anticipated account of life inside the Trump White House. Legally, she had better be able to do just that. She and President Trump used to be close friends. This is not how you treat someone that you truly care about. In 2015, Trump tweeted about one of Manigault Newman's television appearances, stating, At Omarosa you were fantastic on television this weekend. Thank you so much, you are a loyal friend. I guess loyalty only goes so far. We'll see. A number of excerpts have been leaked from the book. They show Omarosa and President Trump are no longer close to put it mildly. In the book, Manigault Newman reflects on an interview the president did with NBC's Lester Holt, saying his mental decline could not be denied. In an appearance on Celebrity Big Brother following her departure from the White House, she can be heard expressing concern for the direction of the Trump administration. No, it's not going to be okay, it's not, it's so bad, she said. I have also seen her on liberal outlets talking about the Trump presidency. I doubt this will end well for her and it's a shame. In a page from the book, Manigault lays out what she describes as her and Ivanka Trump's involvement in an attempted White House purge of leakers with Anthony Scaramucci, along with his comms directorship, Scaramucci had a secondary job. He was apparently the hired hitman, Manigault writes. Very low-key, Ivanka, Trump, went around to the original Trumpers, the loyal soldiers, and asked the team to compile a list of suspected leakers. I'd already said my piece about Katie Walsh directly to Donald, and she'd been let go. But Ivanka wanted a new list and, once she had it, she would give it to Scaramucci, so he could fire them all. The final list that was texted to me on July 22 had 10 names on it. 
The White House has declined to weigh in on Manigault's latest claims as I stated before. However, White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary Rod Shaw told reporters in the briefing room back in February, Omarosa was fired three times on The Apprentice, and this is the fourth time we let her go. He added, she had limited contact with the president while here, and, she has no contact now. There will surely be hell to pay when the book comes out. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.